What's up guys, John here from Titan. Today I want to discuss another common question that I get out about and my patients all the time. Now, I'm down here in Florida, especially summertime. We're going to the beach, we're going to the pool, right? So I'm definitely got my shirt off. Now, most common question a lot of guys ask me is, John, how do I get abs? How do I get the six pack, right? Now, I'm, I'm training all hard, I'm doing all these different things. I just can't get it. Maybe I just was genetically not engineered to get this. Right. And so when we talk about getting a six pack or abs, you know, most people say abs are made in the kitchen. Now I can agree with that and I can disagree with that. And that's just my opinion. And everybody's got opinion. So you can have yours after you see the video, just hear me out. So when we talk about this, abs are made in the kitchen. I totally agree. You need a good nutritional plan. Why? Because you got to get lean enough for that muscle to pop out to show. If you don't get lean enough, you're not going to be able to show abs. You're going to have stuff over it, whether it's fat. Okay. And that's kind of what it is. And you have to get that off. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways you can get that off, but that's one of the main things. Now, when you do that, you're on your way, but that's only 50% of it. That's why I say, yeah, they are made in the kitchen, but they're really not. The reason is this abs are muscles, just like any other muscles on your body. So at that point, you have to work them out. You have to break them down. And at that point, they'll build that stronger, better, and protrude out even more, right? You can put your abs on people. But if you notice, there are a lot of skinny people out there, a lot of lean people, but they don't have abs. It's because they haven't worked out the muscle in their abdominal area to really protrude those abs out. They can have it nice, tight, it looks all good. Even big men out there, there's strong men out there, right? And their stomachs are a little bit bigger. Okay, but if you touch their stomachs, most of those guys, it's like a brick wall. It's so hard and strong. You're like, man, this guy should have abs, right? Wrong. Because at that point, they're not lean enough to protrude those abs out. That's why you want to make sure you work out your abs and you can do this every day. Abs and calves are the unique muscles where you can, you can train them every day and still be able to get good progress. Like unlike other muscles, like your chest or back, where you really give a strenuous workout, you want to give yourself at least a day's rest to recover for those muscle fibers to repair themselves and to build back stronger and better. So with this, make sure your nutrition plan is on point. In a long nutrition plan, you got to make sure you're exercising properly. Okay, so you're making sure that you're doing ab work at least once a week. Some people say you never have to work out abs to get abs. Well, some of those people might be genetically gifted or they're flexing or using secondary muscles as abs, right? So with this, you want to make sure that you're doing at least 30 minutes every week, one session a week. Now, like I said, abs you can work out every single day. So what I would do is incorporate at least one exercise every single day, whether it's at your house and by yourself, you're watching TV or you're in the gym and you're in between sets, super set in abs, right? work them out. It's the best thing you could possibly do. And if you really want them, you got to be consistent about what you're doing. So you have to exercise consistently. And you have to make sure you're on your nutrition plan so you can get lean enough. So those muscles that you're building up will start showing through and you get more definition out of them. This is how you get abs. So guys, be consistent. And if you need help getting, you know, some weight loss or get leaner or building more muscle or better recovery, because that's really what it's about. You guys can contact us here at Titan Medical Center. Call or text 727-389-3220. Stay tuned to more Titan tips because I'm going to give you guys great information that will help you guys look better, feel better, and perform better every single day. See you guys. What's up guys? If you're competitive like I am and you want that performance enhancer, you got to try out some of Titan Medical Center's therapies. I'm going to tell you a few of my favorites. The first one is my complete favorite is Hercules Potion. Hercules Potion gives you that competitive edge that you need when you're walking to the gym. A lot of you are probably like myself, walking to the gym sometimes, you don't feel as secure as you want to. With Hercules Potion, you walk up in there with your chest up, ready to rock and roll. You get that huge pump. 
you put it exactly whatever body parts are working. So you can put it right at your bicep, tricep. You get a ridiculous pump. Everybody be watching the gym. Give you that confidence, make you feel better than good and better than most. Next one of my favorites, the ECA Stack Plus. That's gonna get you going. That gives you that energy. It's also gonna help you with some of that body fat that you wanna lose. This is gonna help you sweat it out, release all them toxins, and get that extra push on that cardio that you've been looking for. With Hercules Potion, ECA Stack, that's gonna get you shredded. Wheat for the summer. One of my favorite therapies is the ab cream. A lot of people ask me about this all the time. What is it? How does it work? How do you do it? I'm gonna show you right now. So I suggest before you go to the gym, what you do is you're gonna take it out of the box, and it's awesome. When you get this at your house, you get your name on it, you can bring it wherever you go. Some people don't feel comfortable if they don't have that prescribed from the doctor. At Titan Medical Center, you get this from licensed physicians. And then you just rub it right on. And then right when you start working out and start sweating, it literally starts shedding off the fat. You want to go to the beach this summer and look super good? You got to get the ab cream. It's going to build your confidence and make you look supreme, better than everybody else. That's what you want, isn't it? I know that's what I want. Get on the Titan Therapies. Don't start yesterday, start now. Not now, but right now. Hey guys, John from Titan here. I just want to remind you guys, make sure you guys are hit the notification button on your social media platforms. That way you guys are staying up to date and in tune to everything that's going on with Titan Medical Center, our lives, and all our great content. So make sure you guys are giving a like, follow on those social media platforms, and hitting the all notifications button so you guys are up to date with everything that we got coming to you guys. What's up guys? John here with Big Drew. And uh, we're always on the go, as you can see. We're getting ready to go somewhere right now. Always. Uh, always. Always busy, always doing something, right? So at that point, we get the question a lot. Hey, John, if we're on the go or we don't have any food by us right now, we need to eat, what could be a good alternative to fast food out there? Because there's a lot of fast food options. You can go into gas stations, you can process food, you go to fast food places like McDonald's, whatever it may be, and you're getting garbage food and you put in your body. So I have my trick, I'm gonna tell you mine, and then Drew can tell you his. All right, my trick is, is use technology and use what we have going on right now. So you have Uber Eats, you have Grubhub, you have all these other things like DoorDash out there, even Instacart. So these places will deliver food to you. Now you're gonna say, well, McDonald's is on there and all these fast food places, so it's the exact same thing, right? Well, no, because you can pick other places like restaurants and stuff like that. I'll give you a, a good example. I order from Cheesecake Factory every day. No, I'm not eating cheesecakes from there. But what I do order is, is from the kitty menu. You're saying, well, why, John? Why are you work from the kitty menu? Because they have the most plain and bland stuff. And at that point, that's kind of what you want to put in your body. So I get grilled chicken breasts from there with right homemade mashed potatoes. I've got myself a meal and a good meal too at that. But one of my tricks is because I'm always, just like John, always in a rush, always got to get to the gym. And I need fuel when I work out, so I never want to work out fasted. Um, I try to get a meal in and the way to hour and eat. If I can't get to like what he said, a restaurant, this and that, I'm going to give you guys a trick for grocery stores. Every town has a grocery store. A lot of places don't have fast food places. And a lot of like these small towns you go to if you're traveling, they may not even have a, a Walmart or something like that. So grocery store, if you guys need a quick workout, a quick mm -hmm. something small, mm -hmm. a banana is always good. Mm -hmm. Natural peanut butter is always good. Mm -hmm. Honey's always good. You could put all three of those together. Mm -hmm. If you want to add some protein, carton egg whites, not in the shell, carton egg whites are safe to drink straight out of the carton, mm -hmm. or you can mix those as well. So if you go in the grocery store and you grab a carton of egg whites, chug the carton of egg whites, eat your banana, a scoop of peanut butter and some honey. If you want to add to that, maybe a little bit of ground cinnamon to thin out your blood a little bit. And obviously the ECA Hercules is going to give you a pump too. Oh yeah. But that's just basically what I do. If I'm traveling, if I'm in a hotel, I like to have oatmeal because all hotels have a microwave. Mm -hmm. And again, the liquid egg whites, they don't have to be cooked. So you can mix those right in with your oats and eat them as well. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get your fuel in before you work out mm -hmm. and make sure you have enough time after you eat so it's not going to affect your workout so it's properly absorbed. Just my trick to go, make sure you eat and make sure you train after you eat. Don't just eat them, just yeah. stay. And guys, it's not the old model, calories in, calories out. Not all our calories are created equal, right? If I eat a piece of cheesecake and I eat a steak, it's going to be totally different calories going in as far as macros and stuff like that. So make sure you're getting good food sources. 
It's not just about the calories either. It's also about the micros too. Don't just look at macros, macros. People yep. look at carbs, calories, and protein. But those micro ingredients are very important too. Yep. Look at your micros, not just your macros. Yep. And keep your sodium low and your sugar low and your lactose to almost nothing. So guys, this is just some tips and tricks from me and Drew to make you guys more healthier, perform better, and live tight and strong every day. Hi, my name is David O. Hensley, and I've been a patient and a loyal customer of Titan Medical Center now for over eight years. And I could not be more happier to be here today to share you my experience with Titan Medical Center and give you my testimonial. Well, before Titan, I noticed myself being a little tired, more tired than normal. I was lagging in the gym, lagging in the bedroom. I was not feeling up to par in all my, because I'm a very hyper person to begin with. So for me not to have the levels of energy I was used to was becoming concerning to me. So that's when I made a decision to come to Titan Medical Center. And once I made that decision and I got my blood work done, they actually showed me what my body was not producing anymore. And after 40 years old, you know, our body stopped producing natural testosterone, natural energy, libido, everything that we need to survive and have a function full healthy lifestyle so once I decided to make the call to Titan got my labs done it was then they customized the therapy program just for me and I cannot be more happier than I have ever been as soon as I walk in that bedroom I want to feel like the man I am as soon as I get up and start my day I want to feel like I can conquer and challenge today and that's what Titan Medical Center provided for me the energy and the strength to do so so the Titan therapies I use are first off the Titan Complete, which is my must have daily injectable. It gets me the energy levels that I need. It, feels, it makes me feel like my immune system is even stronger than I've ever before. I use the Hercules Potion. Now with the Hercules Potion, I like to do about 20 minutes before my workouts. I do side injections. So like if I'm doing chest and tries, I do 50 I use, 50 in each one. Go to the gym and the amount of pump I get is insane. I can actually do Hercules Potion and just go for a jog and I feel like I went to the gym for an hour and trained. The muscle density, the vascularity, the hardness is insane and I love it, without a doubt. It's one of my therapies I can't do without. Now they also have me on testosterone replacement therapy, which is great, and HCG, and the anti-estrogen blocking pills, which is a must have because you know, wasted testosterone is gonna get converted to estrogen and we don't need to be crying at a commercial. We don't need to be upset, we don't need to be. So having the right amount of hormones balanced in your body, done professionally, you know, custom, that is so important to maintaining this healthy lifestyle. My medical Titan provider and service was excellent. In fact, it was the simplest thing as making a phone call. Once I made the phone call, once I came to the office, they, they, they reassured me how easy it would be. Once I got my labs done, then it was smooth sailing from there. They go over the top to make sure that you are getting what you need for your body. You know, the nurse practitioner, the doctors here, the whole crew, the staff, they make it comfortable, they make it simple, they make it easy, educational, and informative. And that's so, it's vital. I mean, you, a lot of these companies out there, when you go see them, they'll tell you what you need or what's this and that. They'll try to sell you on some of these things and your body doesn't need that. Titan is, they're loyal to making sure their customers are taken care of and their body is gets what, exactly what it needs. Am I happy as a Titan patient? Oh, I, I'm over the moon happy, ecstatic. It's, happiness is like a word right about here. Titan is up here. And that's how I feel every day. It's like when, when I get asked, am I happy with Titan Medical? Over the moon. I could not be more happier. Thank you again, Time Medical, for all you've done for me, the people I've sent you, my friends, my clients. I cannot be more happier. Thanks again. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and this beautiful little thing over here I call my wife, Sharice. Hello. Come at you guys, bring you guys great tips, tricks, information that will hopefully help your relationship strive and reach a whole new level of greatness. <laughs> right? We don't want that level to be negative or down or 
<laughs> anything of those sorts. Yeah. So we want to make sure we're helping you guys out, giving it your best and giving you the best information to hopefully, you know, enhance your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship now, don't worry. You guys can use this information for future relationships. Yeah, or to or obtain a relationship. Or to obtain a relationship, yes. right? A successful relationship. Because Correct. anybody can get a relationship, right? Yeah. And there's good relationships and there's toxic relationships. And you don't want to go from... You know, being by yourself, everything going good and getting into a toxic relationship either, right? Because that's just going to bring you down. You don't want that. So today we're going to talk about something I don't think we've ever talked about. Um, and I think it's pretty vital to talk about because it's a new day and age. And this is a vital part of what goes on in everybody's daily routine. So let's talk about it. Social media and your relationship, okay? So obviously social media is out here. Now, when me and Cherise first, you know, got together, we were talking so like that. We got so lucky. MySpace was still around. So it's been that long, okay? It's been over what? Like, um, like 14 years, pretty close to 15. Um, so MySpace was around, and I think the worst thing you had to worry about that was... I'm not in your top 10. Then it was top 20, and then why did you like Why am I not on your profile picture? Yeah. 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 Why am I not on your cover picture? <laughs> <laughs> These so days. He, these are just <laughs> some of the things were happening in MySpace days, right? And you know, then it, everything has evolved in social media. Oh obviously. my god, it's so terrible! And now we have you know Facebook, and then you know Instagram, TikTok, you know Twitter, all these different things are out there. Yeah, back then too, you like you didn't. I mean, you had some of those like uh, yeah, Twitter. Photo, and no, no, like you had like the photo stuff where you could yeah. like make things like smoother and stuff like that. Yeah. Nowadays, you have like the whole like change your whole look thing. Yeah. Like the app says change your face yeah okay the change your face app right and you press three buttons and all of a sudden you look like a like a supermodel right slimmer clear skin yeah you got you got different your, color you got, you got, you got your cheekbones are in you know <laughs> fat lips you got your eyebrows done eyelashes yeah. on we see you and it's like i'm sorry yeah like who is this person <laughs> like that's one thing i guess you yeah. know if you're gonna meet somebody on social media you better you should do like this. facetime or something you, you, you know even on that on videos they can FaceTime? use these filters on i don't know about on facetime that's live but i'm saying like i know on some of the different things i know that, videos that they, you can they, they can use yeah filters we've on. seen so, that <clears throat> um you know you definitely want to be able to see the person and know this is the right person right um, you know you're not getting some sort of false catfish. advertisement catfish, catfish. yeah um, you know it's like it's somebody really like some six-year-old guy talking right. to you think it's like some 23 year old girl <laughs> <laughs> that's funny right that sucks for people that have actually been to that experience oh I mean, there's I'm quite not, a few I'm, there's quite a I'm few gonna say, there's gonna be i would bet a million dollars that at least at least and i'm being generous i'd say at least 40 percent of you guys yeah. have been through that yeah and you know since you know since the 19 thing and all that in the last couple of years, obviously people were locked down and they couldn't get out. So, you know, what was the way that people met each other? They were meeting people online, time, whether yeah. it was dating apps or they were having online dates and or, or Instagram or Facebook, they're in the DMs, I mean, all day. Mm. Um, so it's just something that, you know, it's a part of our everyday life, right? And and you're if you're in a relationship, so you still have these accounts. And at that point, you know, are people DMing you, right? On these the, are on some the slide, fine lines, right? guys. Right? And are you responding to these DMs? And, or, and if you do you know, respond, what are you back? saying? This is true, right? You know? So, you know, that's, that's one aspect of things. Like, you know, it's just changed tremendously as far as most of everything is online anymore. You know, people aren't really asking people out on dates. Um, they're not doing like the old chivalry thing like we used to do. You say, hey, listen, you know, if you liked a girl, you got all nervous, but you went up and you asked her, like, hey, listen. Right, in like real life. Hey, you want to go do something sometime? Now, you now you're something? like a like a keyboard pimp. And now, yeah, you're, yeah you literally can, <laughs> literally, literally, you have like a good maybe a couple of three sentences and then you blast it out and you hit the numbers. You play the numbers game. I'm sorry? And if you happened? play the numbers game, it does work. You will come back with something. I Whether you so. like it or not, or something crazy, or something. Copy and paste must work great for you guys. But copy and paste does work for a lot of people <laughs> out there. But I do see a lot of girls, right, call people out because, you know, this person doesn't know that these three girls are friends and writes all through the exact same message. And at that point, then, then writes them back like, hey, listen, you we wrote my girlfriend, Jessica, this message again. And then you're caught up. But, I mean, the whole thing with social media, you know, to the day, like, if you're in a relationship... You got to make sure that you know you're not doing anything that's going to disrespect your relationship, right? Mm. Or you're feeding into people disrespecting your relationship because 
when you put yourself out there, and some people have private profiles, some people have wide open profiles, like me and Sharice, because you know business and all the other mm -hmm. stuff. You know, people will go on there and they will definitely try to push the envelope in some way, shape, well, or form. We've had that happen. Been right? there, done that. You know, they'll say something about Sharice, something about me, whatever it is. Um, and you got to shut that stuff down right away, mm -hmm. right? If you don't shut it down, you cannot entertain it. Or you're it'll inviting be a, them to do more and more. It'll be a problem. And, uh, you know, since people aren't in front of you, you know, where you get you know, punch them in the mouth or, or check them. At that point, you know, they're being keyboard gangsters. And they're just there. eating their popcorn they while they're getting a like, kick out oh, of you, like, getting a rise out of you. They're right? trolling you and all this other good stuff. And they're trolling your relationship or might do other things. And then on the other aspect, if you're in a relationship, let's say you're a guy or a girl, you better not be trying to just sneak or being creepy with somebody else because at that point you can get busted out real quick. And guys, then that always surfaces. <laughs> guys, that always surfaces. I, I, I don't know what you guys think or like why you think deleting something is going to magically delete itself. No. People screenshot things. Yes. People, you know, send things to other yes. people. Yes. So even if it got deleted off both accounts, now all of a sudden, you know, you know, Jennifer yeah. down the street has it because she. You know, not now they can hold that against you. So, you know, we always think about what can they hold against you? Don't do For it. For right? sure, you know. But, you know, the biggest thing, I mean, even me and John have a very different relationship because I am crazy. At least I can admit it. And I've come to terms. He's come to terms. He's accepted me for who I am and he loves me. So that is amazing. I can't say it's going to happen for all of you out there. So I'm just lucky. But, you know, I'm crazy. So, you know, if I see a girl that writes John or something like that, you know, I might either A, jump in myself, which I haven't done in a while because I haven't had to, thank goodness. Back in the day, though, that, that, was, that was funny. <laughs> I used to write back on John's behalf, and then they would think it was John, and you know, I wasn't writing nice things. But we won't talk about that. We'll move on. You don't want to be in this situation, right? So don't invite these things into your yeah. inbox, right? So let's just say there is somebody that writes you, and you're like, okay, I don't want to be in trouble for this. I don't want to have any problems or whatever. And you can't help if somebody writes you, right? You can't make someone not write you. So you can block them. You can block them, right? And that's but after they probably remove Make them go them. away. Right. Don't write or don't respond to them. Like right. don't say anything back to them. Like that's that's how you start up problems, right? And I mean the next thing that kind of rolls into this is that if you are in a relationship, and this is my personal opinion, I definitely think that you should have some sort of content or like pictures on your you know social media platform mm. of your significant other whether it's on your story or it's on your cover page you know maybe you don't want it as your profile picture fine whatever but i mean do i think you should have some like you know static posts out there with a girlfriend if you're really serious about a girlfriend yeah. or a boyfriend whatever it is or your husband or fiance don't be married for 10 years and then make it look like you're not married on social media because right. i feel like that's literally like nine out of ten people yep like it's nine out of 10 people. Like you, we all know you're married, but where is your husband? Right. Like they're just like, right. they're gone. They're not even there. It's so strange. Yeah, like it's, it's, it can definitely, it can be disheartening to your partner too. Like, it is. Like, like are you, they not proud of me? Are they ashamed of me? Right, like, are you are hiding you me this? or like, why? You know, and that brings up other questions like what's going on? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like I said, like if you're not putting me out there, like what are you doing, you know? So, you know, it's, it's something that you should definitely be proud of. If you're proud of your partner and stuff like that, or you're with somebody, you're probably going to have some pictures of you guys, whether it's a formal occasion, you guys going out, a movie, dinner. A car. I mean, aren't you guys doing something together? I mean, if not, then I guess you're not in a relationship, right? right. So if you're in a relationship, you're going to be doing something together, I would guess. And, and if you do that something, you'd want to capture that moment and, and then share. And I see it on both pages, right? I've seen it on guys' pages and girls' pages where... They're at the exact same event, and one takes a selfie of themselves by themselves. And they crop they, it. They crop it out. I'm like, why did you do that? Like, yeah, why did you, you do know? that? And I know there's a lot of Instagram models out there who might be doing OnlyFans, and that's fine, too. And you want it to be like, hey, listen, I'm single. That's what I'm trying to, like, pr pr purvey out there. But, you know, that's going to come back to your partner, too, as well. They're going to they're gonna be heard about it, I guess, to a certain extent. Maybe they, they aren't. Maybe they accept it. Maybe there's, a, there's some I'm some sure people there are people out there, out there that don't have an issue with yeah, it. Yeah, they don't have a problem. However, I mean, I'm going to speak for some of the females and even the males out there that won't open their mouth and say something. I mean, if you're not being shown out on your social media platforms, I would definitely be asking questions and be like, okay, so what's the issue? Like, do you not want people to know about me? Or like, you know, I can understand if you've only known somebody for like a month or two. Mm -hmm. If you guys have been together a couple of years, eh, yeah, I better see my face on your profile yep. somewhere. 
And then there's gonna be there's gonna be other like telltales to your, your partner, I guess, too. So let's say you get into the relationship right in the beginning. Everything's hot and heavy, first couple of months. You guys are taking pictures together all over the place. Now a year later happens, there's nothing like that in sight. But you, you guys know? are still together. But you guys are still together and you really don't care to take any pictures together or post it out there. And it's just a natural thing, too, because... Right, yeah, it's too, you know, super natural. You go Whatever through different we... holidays together, different experiences together, even if you're just hanging out on the weekend by the beach, you're right? You're literally taking a picture. Let's take a picture. Gonna, yeah, I mean, that's that's a natural thing to do, right? And it's natural to be proud of this, right? right? So at that point, you know, you want to make sure that you're doing this. And if you're not doing this and you're doing what we're saying not to do, it's a red flag for somebody else in the relationship to really look at, like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And what's the problem? Here? Yeah, and yeah. whatever excuses you guys want to come up with, like at the end of the day, I don't care if you're in the club industry, restaurant industry, medical industry, right. sales industry, only fan, whatever industry you're right. in, right? If you have a significant other that you're proud of and that mm -hmm. you're happy to be with and that everybody should know about, because listen, the more you put it out there that you're with somebody, this typically is It's going to detour problems from coming it's, at you. It's not the other way around. Right. I feel like people have said that. It's not. When you put it out there, it does detour. The thing like, oh, they're with somebody. Let me not, you know, this is not an open gig. You got two types of people out there. People that want to chase what they can't have and somebody else has. So there are people out there. I'll kill you. Like, right? Yeah. Or like even girlfriends. I know girls like this. They talk a lot, right? And then the girlfriend's like, oh, my, my boyfriend, he's so good. He does all this to me. He's so good in bed, whatever. And then they want that. And then they Oh, and then we'll try to like purvey and try to bust our way in. So, yeah, you know, it's just something you can do <laughs> just to be something to be aware of. But definitely put your, your partner out there. You know, you should be proud of them and, um, and, and your relationship, right? So this is just some of the aspects of social media. I'm sure we're going to cover uh, some more topics about social, social media. media the whole there's story. so much stuff to cover, guys. <laughs> but guys, stay tuned for more great tight Medical Center Cupid's Corner every Sunday here on ABC at 11 a.m. And guys, if you can't watch it live, DVR it. You can watch it any time at your home. Also, if you didn't DVR it, don't worry. Just go to YouTube, click, click the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell, and you'll see all the Cupid's Corners and all the other great content that me and Therese have for you and Tight Medical Center all together. So we appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday for another great Cupid's Corner. See you then.